Hello. Anthony's put his hoodie on. Oh, got a oh, when I shave my head, it's like Velcro and anything <laughs> sticks. Sophie. Enough. I reckon if you threw a tennis ball at my head, you'd probably just stick to it. You know, like them gloves you had, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know what you mean. Um, what's the date, Emma? It's uh, 1st February. Well, it's the second when they're watching this, but it's the first today, so we're going to show you the calendar. The new. This is our first, like, you've, you've seen the calendar, but this is our first official turn, isn't it? You know, we have to open it on January, so it's not really a turn. So this is, this is the one. Who are you going to see anyway? Look, you're all dolled up. Dolled up is an old fashioned expression. Yeah. I'm going to the office, I have to look like a human being. <laughs> and, not, and not a boat tramp. <laughs> Should make an effort for anybody but me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to do the honours, Emma? Let me. Uh... This one, I have to say, Matt, is much easier to do the turning off. So this this definitely gets brownie points, but it's still cat poo and not dog poo. <laughs> anyway. Matt's my brother, by the way, oh, who bought wait, us the no, calendar. I have to tick off the 31st. Oh, hang on. She's got to tick I've off the days. got to tick off the days. That's a, <laughs> that's a logistics thing. Are you happens. ready? Ready? What we got? I haven't seen it. Have you? Did I? No. It's quite, quite a cute little cat, really, it isn't it? Is, isn't it? Apart from, apart from that bit down there. <laughs> anyway, there's February's cat. Um, I'm with, I'm with the rest of this video, I suppose. So I, I thought I'd do what you've seen like on the TV programme, haven't you? 24 hours in A and E. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is 24 hours on the WG. So I don't know, just. Just like it's that. good, isn't it? Like it's, it's a day in the life of a constant cruiser, but as you'll see, we didn't day, actually. A day in the life of a house husband. We didn't actually cruise anyway, yeah. <laughs> yes, Sophie, they know you're there. Yes. Anyway, on with the video. On with the video! Yep. We do actually get up at quarter past four most mornings. Well, one of us does, anyway. Morning, Sophie. Hello. Once I'm up and out of bed, my first job of the day is to get Emma up and out of bed. That involves coffee. Despite her not steering the boat very well, she insists on it being served in her Captain Emma mug, else she cries. This is the best vegan milk we've found for hot drinks. It doesn't curdle or separate and tastes nice and creamy. While I wait for the kettle to boil, time for my next job. Keep Emma warm. That means cleaning out the fires and getting them going again for the day. Notice how I've started on the living room fire. I daren't go down in the bedroom fire and get the hoover going before the dragons had a sip of her coffee. Best way to get the fires going, I reckon, Stack a bit of kindling so the air can get round it all. Pop a bit of paper and cardboard in the middle. Light it and away you go. Once the paper's burning, I chuck a bit of cardboard on top and this traps the flame down below and makes sure the kindling lights. And that gets that going just in time for the kettle to boil. Time to go and wake up the dragon. 
Wish me luck folks. It's not been cold enough for the fire overnight so it's a bit chilly in the mornings but let's see what that temperature is like when we get back from the gym. While we've been travelling we've been touring the local pure gyms of where we are. Some are good, some are bad but hey we get a workout and a free shower. What more do you want? Happy days. And they say chivalry's dead. Look at that. After you, my lady. What's this, Emma? So I can't deal with this this time again, I'm sorry. Yeah, we what? I can't. I don't want to talk to this is this is Emma in the morning. This is this is after this is after I've made a cup of coffee. Just imagine what I have to deal with before I make that cup of coffee. Eh? I need stronger coffee. Are <laughs> oh, they going to Lego with us? No, no. They're, they're normal size. We just we just far away, Emma. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. With the workout done and our free shower in the bag, off we go, back to the boat. Never been so grateful for a lift than after leg day. Look at that, by the time we get back to the boat, it's nice and toasty and warm. When we get back, depending on the weather, it's time for me to put some wood on the fires and for the boss lady to start doing her work. I give the fires a bit of a poke Put some more wood on, make sure she's kept nice and warm while I go and take the dogs for a walk. And look at them, they know what's happening, they ain't stupid, they're ready and waiting. Sophie, off. Good girl. Come on, Sophie. Good girl. Part of the adventure travelling is always taking the dogs out and finding them somewhere to stretch their legs. Sophie's happy with a bit of open field and if we're lucky she gets a nice bit of woodland she can go and have a rummage around in. It's not just a walk though, always try and do a bit of training with them when I'm out and about as well. Sophie, come! Yeah, good girl! Time to head back to the boat, pick up Domino, let her have a run around. Despite being out for a good hour, Sophie still thinks she wants some more and is a bit reluctant to come back in, bless her. Sophie, in. Sophie, in. Yeah, good girl. Time to walk the next idiot. Fire going so the boss lady's happy, she'll be warming her off his turn. Come on, then, you this way. We don't tend to walk the dogs together, they get on all right, but when they're together, they're just idiots and they don't listen to you. Plus, they're two completely different dogs. Sophie needs a run around to get rid of her energy. Domino's happy just for a little plod as long as she gets to sniff, and that's enough to wear her out. If she's lucky, sometimes we stumble across a field that's all enclosed, which means she can have her ball. She loves the ball, but we can't always let her off because of the beagle in her. If she gets a scent, she'll just be gone. So it's nice when we come across an enclosed field so she can have a run around. She loves it. Our 
After a sniff and a good run around, she's knackered and a good time to work on her heel work as we head home. When we get back then, it's time for breakfast. I'm happiest when I'm eating. <laughs> for breakfast this week then, I've got some rice bowls, lovingly made by my wife. We've got a bit of rice in there with some dried mixed fruits. But it's not complete without some peanut butter and a chopped up banana. Lovely. Unfortunately for the puppies, they don't get anything as interesting. They just get a bit of dry food. But hey, okay. they seem to like it. That's right folks, after breakfast, time to think about lunch. Our regular viewers will know you don't normally find me in the kitchen, but we had a bit of a busy weekend so Emma didn't have time to make my lunches, so I thought I'd give it a go. Press your tofu and leave it to one side while we get your broccoli all chopped up. You don't need a fancy tofu press, you can leave it on some kitchen towel and weight it down with some books or anything else heavy, but we have got one so I thought I'd use it. Get yourself a pan of water, bring it to the boil, chuck your broccoli in, Leave it for a couple of minutes just to let it soften up. While you strain your broccoli, you can mix up the coating for the tofu. Chinese fire spice, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt and a bit of oil. Mix it all together in a tub till it makes a nice paste. Once it's mixed, grab your tofu out of the press and chop it up into nice little chunks. About a centimetre cubed I think works well. Once you've chopped up your tofu, pop it in the tub with your coating, pop the lid on and give it a good shake, make sure you cover it nice and evenly all over. Grab yourselves a wok or a frying pan, whatever you've got to hand, pop in a bit of oil, put it on a low heat, chuck in your tofu. Let it simmer away for about 20 minutes, stirring it every couple of minutes until it's all nice and golden brown. While you're waiting for the tofu to brown, grab yourself the ingredients for your sauce. Rice vinegar, soy sauce, chilli flakes, maple syrup and my favourite, peanut butter. I'll pop the recipe in the link below, but you're going to need half a tablespoon of maple syrup, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, two teaspoons of soy sauce, Half a teaspoon of chilli flakes, or more if you like it spicy, I'm a bit of a wimp, I don't like it that hot. And then to finish it off, you want four big tablespoons of peanut butter. Once all that's in your tub, give it a mix and add a bit of water if needed, just to thin it out a little. Hopefully by this time your tofu's browned off and you've got a nice crispy coating. Once your tofu's done, pop whatever noodles you're having in the pan and we are nearly done. You can jazz the recipe up however you see fit. I'm having a bit of sweet corn in mine, but I reckon some edamame beans or some chickpeas might go nice with this. Knock yourself out, do what you want with it. Once you're done, grab everything chuck it in a big pan and mix it all together. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. And there we have it, five lunches for the week. This cooking malarkey is easier than I thought. I don't usually do the cooking, but I actually quite enjoyed doing this. I reckon it's because there was no, no one waiting for it to be served up to them so it didn't matter if things were cold or whatever because it was just going straight in the fridge but you put me under pressure and make me serve it to somebody hot and I'll go to pot Bon appetit Those busy working I'm hungry, I'm having more lunch now Well even if I do say so myself, that was rather tasty. I think I might make that again.
Now I've refueled again, time for the clean up operation to begin. The only problem with cooking is all the bloody mess it leaves behind. Let's get that tackled first. We have got a gas boiler on board, but we never really use it. We just stick the kettle on the stove instead. The gas boiler tends to use a lot of gas. In the spring, summer, autumn, it's all right. We've got enough power from the sun that we can heat it from the batteries. So that's what we do. Free hot water, lovely. Once I've tidied up after myself, time to clean up after the puppies. Hoovering on the boat is like painting the fourth road bridge. By the time you've finished, you've got to bloody start again. Especially if you've got two dogs, and especially when it's the winter. It gets a right state. This gets done every single day, and this is what comes out of the hoover every single day. Thanks, dogs. Why are you so bloody dirty? I told you, shed in the winter, dining room in the summer. So today's job, not all of it, because there's a lot. I've been collecting pallets again. I've got to process some of this because we're about out of wood. I get these nails out and chop it down into burnable pieces. Now that all the daily chores are done, time to do them odd jobs that we have throughout the week. That'll do for today. I need to clean me some jobs for tomorrow, eh? <laughs> it might seem like a lot of work, but in a couple of hours I can have enough wood processed to burn for the whole week, and I reckon if we were to buy that wood, it would cost me a damn sight more than two hours wages. So I don't mind putting a bit of effort in. Now that all the nails are out, I can crack out the chainsaw and go through the wood knowing full well I'm not going to catch anything and blunt my teeth on the chain. Once it's all cut to size, I put all the big bits to one side ready to burn on the fire and get some of the smaller bits to break down give us some nice kindling. The good thing about the pallets is that they're all kiln dried and heat treated so the wood's bone dry, it lights really easy. Look what I got with me. Oh, hello Sophie. She's in the front seat. And a little treat. Why are you in the front seat Sophie? I don't know that. Because I'm about to go through the car wash. I reckon if she was in the boot, she'd kick off. Let's see how she handles it, shall we? I absolutely hate paying for a car wash. Because I know full well I can do a better job when I do it myself. Problem is, we can't get the car down to the towpath to wash it. And even if we could, we ain't got enough water. So sometimes we have to give in and we have to put our hands in his pocket and go and pay to get it done. Because Emma's in the office this week and she wants a shiny car in the car park. She's jumpy already, the brushes ain't started yet. I don't know, you gotta try and get her used to these things, don't you? You get used to everything. Stop being so jumpy. She was a bit nervous, bless her, but she didn't do too bad. However, I reckon if we left her on her own in the boot, we should have probably kicked off. Are you going to say grace, Anthony? I'm just going to eat. Um, I would say I cooked Emma dinner, but I, I wasted all my all my Gordon Ramsay time <laughs> at lunchtime making my lunches. So today we have beige. we have a beige a beige dinner. <laughs> it's not all beige. We've got some green peas. shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it was a, a reheat dinner. This is like a bit of a treat for us, isn't it? This, this is, is like yeah. this is like this everybody is... else's takeaway. We probably do this maybe what once a month if that. It's not very often. Have shit food. It's not yours, Sophie. Sophie, forget it. Off you pop. Come on, Soph. Down. No, Wait, leave. No. Good girl. Come on, down. Good girl. Right then. Tuck in, you. Flipping out. Dinner is served. <laughs> um. Yeah. After dinner. That's about us done, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. We have our dinner, what, six o'clock-ish? Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe watch a bit of YouTube or some series that we're watching. We've been watching Peaky Blinders, haven't we? Because yeah. we're, we're, we're that uncool, it's took us this long to, <laughs> to get on board with it. So, yeah, that's what, I don't know. Watch a couple of couple of bits of that. And then, a bit of Ben then Fogel. Yeah, Lives in the Wild, we oh, like that too. Wow. When you get up at quarter past four, well... I mean, I get awoken at quarter past four because obviously I know you've got out of bed to go and make my coffee. <laughs> but yeah, eight, eight o'clock's about our bedtime, isn't it? Like, if we see nine o'clock, that's a late night, that is. <laughs> anyway, I reckon that's about it for this no, week. No, it isn't. What? Come on, give me the shit joke. Nah, I haven't got any. Crap you ones. have. I've only got good ones. No. You uh, you see me using it earlier, but I think I might sell the Hoover Love. Bye. It's just collecting dust. <laughs> oh no! So if you like that one too. Uh, oh, and on that note, oh, goodbye, word. folks. Um, we've not asked you for a while though. Like, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up, click yeah. the like button, subscribe. You Thanks know what to much. do. Leave us a comment. We Makes love reading the us. Happy. Yeah. And he loves the comments. It's his favourite part. I do like the comments. Yeah. It's great to say. Let us let us know. And anyway, Bye. if you can still see me, goodbye. Goodbye. See you next see week. See you later.